Hey, yo guys, back here with another video today. I will be comparing a uh, toy grade RC car against this full on hobby grade RC car. And uh, the, diff the key differences at first, as you see, would be the remotes. This remote is a lot more comfortable. This is for this hobby grid car. But this is the normal remote. This is more basic than anything you could ever find for hobby grid cars pretty well. So all this guy's trim. And uh, that's about it. It turns. Okay, second of all, the toy grid RC car uh, remote. Very, very uncomfortable. And 10 is fucking long as shit. It's like the fucking Trump Tower. The Empire State Building's got nothing on this bitch. This is short antenna installed. Okay. Not comfortable at all. Uh, the next difference it would be the suspension. On the toy grade. Hold on, let me turn off the toy grade RC car real quick. It's blinding shit on my phone. Okay, as you see on the toy grade RC car. Uh, the suspension is not very, very good at all. It's independent for sure, but very, very little. Just, it's just bad. There's no oil in the shocks. There's nothing. It's very, very poor. It's just springs. And then the rear suspension is, uh, I can't figure what it's called, suspension, but look at this. It's garbage. It's trash. The springs suck. They're garbage. Shocks. Next difference, the tires. These tires have no foam and they're extremely, extremely hard. And the rims are very cheaply made. But, okay, second of all, battery. This here is a modified setup because the original battery broke forever. So I did this bootleg shit. Uh, second of all, the steering. Uh, no, third of all, whatever, steering. It's only, it's not proportional at all, look. Oh, shit. Well, it's not proportional at all. Look. You can move the entire controller. It's only one way or another. And all you hear is this annoying sound when you turn this car. Okay. Uh, no, next, the receiver. Which is not even a receiver. It's nothing. It's just a box. It's just a motherboard. Okay, next, the power. Not very much power, but with this hobby, this toy grade car, you could uh, turn up the gearing like this, and then it's got a little bit more power. It's got no grip. It's bad in total. It doesn't control well. Oh yeah, the motor next. This is actually kind of like a hobby grade motor, but not very much. It's better than what you find in most cars. Uh, the motor, here, look, uh, the proportions, it's, it's full throttle no matter what. The range on this is bad, the antenna, everything's bad on this car. It's cheaply made, but I fucking broke it already. Uh, Suspension is crappy. Up next to the hobby grade RC car. It's a lot better made. Uh, the tires, very, very, very sticky and soft. The shocks are absolutely amazing on this thing. Just look at that. They're oil field. They're adjustable over here. Up here from here. Uh, the battery is a, light, a 3S LiPo. 5,000 milliamp tracks is... 3 cell lipo, very very powerful, 11.1 volts. Uh, servo, I upgraded this with metal gears, and it was very good. Uh, wheelie bar, I put a wheelie bar in this thing, because this thing is so powerful, it does wheelies for days. You see, fully adjustable wheelie bar. Does this car have that? No, it does not have a wheelie bar, because it wouldn't need it. Uh, the transmission, the way it's set up, you can only put one gear setup at once. 
I like this one where you can change the gear setup from here. You have to go in there manually and change it. Motor, very, very hobby grade motor. Brushless amazingness. Uh, the dry shafts, a lot better made. Not all very cheap plastic. Receiver, it's actually a box and it's 2.4 gigahertz. So it goes for like very, very far. I'm not too sure anymore. The, the CPU, whatever the fuck it's called. The computer itself. Very nice, very nice. I added a fan on it, everything. Uh, together, very, very nice setup I have here. Well, I can change the chassis. Everything you break on this car right here, it's all fixable. But the power on this thing is nuts. It's mad. And let me demonstrate. Now this car's here top speed with the max gearing if I put it in is maybe about 70 miles an hour. Well this car it's I have no idea. It will not pass 10. I know that probably. It probably will not. Uh servo steering. Oh yeah, by the way, the throttle is fully proportional. That means you can do a little bit of time like this. Same thing in reverse. Uh steering. Very, very nice. Just proportional like this. And then you go full on ape shit. Full on proportional. Hobby grade RC car, 100% better. Very, very expensive hobby though. Uh, the body. Uh. A lot, the body here is a lot better made. It's a lot better. It's a lot more ruggedier. It's stronger. Well, this this body here for this car it doesn't look as beat up, but I've never really used this car too much. It's very soft, flexible. You usually fart in this thing will crack. Uh, RC car wise, this one is the clear winner because you can see the speed that this thing takes off at. Look at that, the tires are already starting to peel right off. Uh, as you can see, I accidentally wrecked the floor with a black line of boot. But, uh, that's about it. That's about all the differences. Oh yeah, fully upgradable, all aluminum crap. You can put whatever you want on this disc. You can make whatever you want. Also, it's fully waterproof. Everything on this car is waterproof except the fan. All of it. Except the fan and the motor. The motor could resist water, but not too much. Thank you. Thank you for watching, and goodbye, and have a good night and day.